All right guys, so welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna look at Nintendo's new 2DS XL. Now, we're gonna kinda look at things right off the bat that are in the box because surprisingly enough, Nintendo included a charger this time because with the 3DS XL that retailed for $199.99, they just didn't even include the charger. So for $150 on the brand new 2DS XL, you actually get a charger. Is it actually worth the 150 for the 2DS XL. Who is this system really marketed for? And let's just go ahead right off the bat and say how cool is it that it is blue? Um, as far as I know in the US, this is the only color um, that it is offered in. It's a black and blue. Um, the system, the first thing you notice when you pick it up, it is very, very lightweight. Um, it actually feels small to be an XL system, which XL obviously is talking about the screens, but coming from that ridiculously ugly 2DS design that they had before that didn't even fold, it was small, had these tiny screens, it just didn't make sense. What we need to start with is who is this actually marketed for? There's a lot of restrictions against younger people using the 3D part of the 3DS. So this system allows you to be able to play all the 3DS games and 2DS games, but just in 2D. So that you don't have to worry about, you know, kids bumping it up in 3D and messing up their eyes or anything like that. What improvements did Nintendo make? Well, this time they added the little C-Stick here that's on the 3DS, the new 3DS XL model, uh, which is really handy for certain games. It gives you just better controls and it's nice. Um, it also has Amiibo support on the bottom screen here, which the 2DS, I don't even think Amiibo could fit on that screen. And it says that the screens, it's 82% larger than the 2DS. Down here where you place your games, um, it also has the slot for a micro SD card. So instead of using regular SD cards, this one now uses a micro SD. Now the stylus that's in here is pretty calm. Look at this thing. Like, it looks big now, but Nick, this is the system, this is the little stylus. That thing is so, so small. Most people, most of the time, are not using a stylus and they end up losing it anyway, so what does it matter? Um, it does have 3D cameras on the back. Again, this isn't a 3D system. You can't view it in 3D, so I really don't know the point of that. Um, other uh, changes is the camera's right here on the top that you can see and it's exposed while it's closed. And as you can see when you open the system, the camera is still sitting right there um, with the mic next to it. Now your speakers are located down below on the very corner of the system. Uh, it, the speakers in here are actually really nice. Uh, the material on the outside, this, again, I like the look a lot, but this is a fingerprint magnet. I mean, it really does pick up, like right out of taking it out of packaging, this thing had fingerprints all over it. So just know that you're gonna have to kind of clean this thing off or don't. Um, otherwise, next to your stylus, you have your headphone jack, your power button, and your light, your Wi-Fi indicator, uh, and your power indicator. All that stuff's right here at the bottom. Now let's go ahead and talk about the inside. It is very, very, very clean. Like everything about this is clean. And to be honest, like really, if you want to look at it, this looks like an iPhone just turned sideways. There's no speakers up here. Um, it's just really a clean design. And honestly, I'll say right now, this is my favorite design that Nintendo has done on any of the DS systems. Like I like the cleanness, obviously. I like the color. I like that it's lightweight. Just everything about this system, I have no complaints at all. Other than the fingerprints. Like I, I just like my devices to look clean and to know that this thing's gonna have fingerprints all the time. Eh, it might be something that bugs me a little bit. Now the processor that's in here is a lot faster. I did notice that things loaded a lot quicker. Games loaded quickly, apps loaded quickly. Um, so it's just a very nice, smooth experience. So now the big question is, should you buy it for 150? Well, think about it this way. If you don't have a DS and you've never had any of, any of the systems, the DDS systems, I like it a lot. Some people, the 3D just kind of wears off and it may not be worth the extra $50. And the other thing that just kind of, I don't get, and maybe, maybe it's just not meant for me to get, but Nintendo is just rehashing 
basically as many versions of the DS as they can when I really think it may just be time to move on from the DS altogether. Now I know there's a bunch of games, but guess what? There's a bunch of systems already to play this on. With the Nintendo Switch taking off the way it is, I think their focus needs to be there. And with the, I don't know if it's a rumor or if it's actually fact now, they're going to be coming out with the Nintendo Switch Mini. It doesn't come with a dock and it's really made to just be played portably all the time. Maybe that's where they need to just focus on and not keep putting out DS systems. But again, every time they do, people buy them, people love them, and who am I to say what Nintendo needs to do? Um, so coming from a Sony fanboy, you can't say that it hasn't been a success. Um, they, again, this one, I like the looks. I like the feel of it. The screens are actually pretty amazing. I, I will say this, I think during the holiday season, you're going to be looking at $129, possibly even $99, uh, and they may even bundle it with some games, so you might want to hold off. Uh, there may even be more colors. I believe there's a white uh, available um, in some other countries. So, you know, if you like this color, which I do, you know, you've never been in the DS family or you don't have a 3DS, this is really not a bad option. And at $150, with the library of games that the DS has, you're not gonna run out of things to play. But overall, I was really impressed with this. I really, really enjoyed playing it. You know, you can get your official GameSki blue color right now. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Thank you guys so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.